How is sodium chloride made? Have you ever wondered how the salt on your table is created? Sodium chloride, commonly known as table salt, is a fascinating compound made from sodium and chlorine ions. Let's break down how this essential ingredient is produced both naturally and through industrial methods. Sodium chloride can be found abundantly in seawater and underground deposits. Seawater contains about 3.5% sodium chloride by weight. This means that if you were to take 100 liters of seawater, about 3.5 liters would be sodium chloride. Underground deposits can also be mined directly, providing another source of this compound. When it comes to industrial production, the process typically starts with extraction. Sodium chloride is taken from either seawater or underground deposits. If seawater is used, the water is evaporated to concentrate the salt. This evaporation can happen naturally through sunlight or can be accelerated using heat. Once the sodium chloride is extracted, it needs to be purified. This is done by dissolving the salt in water to create a brine solution. The brine is then filtered to remove any impurities. After filtering, the solution is evaporated or crystallized to produce pure sodium chloride. This step is essential to ensure that the salt is clean and ready for use. The crystallization process is where the magic happens. The purified brine solution is heated, causing sodium chloride crystals to form. This can be done through evaporation or vacuum crystallization, both of which help create those familiar salt crystals we see in our kitchens. Interestingly, while sodium chloride is not typically synthesized from its elements on a large scale, it can be produced in a laboratory. This involves a reaction between sodium metal and chlorine gas. The reaction is highly exothermic, meaning it releases a lot of heat and produces sodium chloride. Sodium chloride has many applications beyond just seasoning our food. It is used in the production of chemicals like chlorine and sodium hydroxide through the chloralkali process. Additionally, it serves as a preservative in food, a de-icer on roads, and is a key component in various industrial processes. In the realm of chemical nomenclature, sodium chloride is an excellent example of both common and systematic naming. The common name, table salt, is widely recognized, while the systematic name follows the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry rules. In this case, the cation sodium is named first, followed by the anion chloride. This systematic approach helps clearly identify the chemical composition of compounds, making it easier for students and professionals alike to communicate about them. So, the next time you sprinkle salt on your meal, remember the fascinating journey that sodium chloride takes from nature or industrial processes to your table.